Hello students, welcome to this new lesson on art. Today, we are going to learn about composition making through printing. But for now, let's see what stencil printing is all about. Stencil printing is also known as pochoir. It is a process where a printed image is obtained after paint is dabbed, painted or splattered either through the openings created after the positive shape of an image is cut out or around the same shape from materials. Here, a piece of thick paper is used to create the stencil. On the left, a stencil is shown, while on the right, there is a positive print. The process of making a stencil is quite simple. First, draw your design on Bristol paper, cut out the positive shape to make a stencil, then place the stencil on white paper and dab paint or ink on the opening. In order to obtain a negative print, place the positive shape cut out on a piece of paper, dab paint or ink on it, then remove the positive shape to reveal the print. Now let us see how prints were done in the past. Printing dates back to prehistoric times. Imprints can be seen on cave walls. Cave dwellers blew pigments through a hollow reed after placing their hands on the cave walls. This resulted in negative prints. Various artists make prints during their career. Famous ones are Pablo Picasso, Henri Matisse, and Andy Warhol, amongst others. In order to be able to make stencils, it is important to know how to stylize natural forms. In December 1945, Picasso took almost one month to transform the realistic drawing of a bull into an abstract shape. Stylization is the process of transforming and simplifying a realistic image into an, a graphic or abstract design for a series of steps by eliminating complex and unnecessary details. These are the steps to make a positive print based on a realistic form of a pineapple from a photograph. Firstly, draw a pineapple from direct observation. You may add tones to your artwork. Then simplify your drawing and shade the geometric shapes using a marker. Cut out unwanted shapes to make a stencil. Finally, apply paint onto the stencil with a sponge. The final artwork is a positive print. Stencils provide sharp prints and these are usually found on both utilitarian and decorative objects such as cushions, t-shirts, lampshades, and they are even used to decorate walls. Prints can also be made from a block. Designs are first carved into it. This process is known as block printing. Blocks are made from different materials. Here, potato, lino and wood blocks have been used. Block printing was very popular among Japanese artists. Katsushika Okusai made overwhelming prints from wood blocks. We will now see how to make prints from a styrofoam block. Make a composition using simple and geometrical shapes based on a sunflower.
cut out a rectangular shape from the flat surface of a styrofoam box. Then trace the composition onto a tracing paper using a soft pencil. Then place the tracing paper with the design facing the styrofoam and press on the visible lines with a pencil. Press firmly and evenly on transfer drawing to make impress marks. Avoid using a sharp pencil. The styrofoam block with impress marks is then obtained. Apply paint evenly, then place a sheet of paper carefully on the side coated with paint. Rub consistently and evenly with the back of a spoon. Once this exercise is over, peel off the paper carefully to reveal the print. Finally, the printed design is obtained. Well, students, we have come to the end of this lesson. I hope you have grasped this lesson well. Thank you for watching. See you again for another lesson.